Hello, so what we're going to do today is learn how to write an Excel file using Python. So over here, I just have Excel pulled up. This is what this is what we are going to be trying to build. So we're going to write two headers, names and scores. We're going to have some names to write into our file as well as some scores. And then we're going to use a function here to dynamically sum up these numbers for us. So that is our goal. So the first thing we need to do is import the, the module that will allow us to write to XLSX files or Excel files. So we call this XLSX writer. So I'm going to import XLSX writer. So before we get any further, I want to kind of uh, just reinforce how Excel works. So you have your workbook, which is like the entire file. Like if I saved this Excel file as like tuna.xlsx, then tuna is my workbook. So inside a workbook, you can have multiple sheets or worksheets. So this is sheet one. I can click this button. This would be an additional sheet. Um, but yeah, just want to make that distinction real quick. So now what we want to do in code is make this workbook. So I'm going to call this out uh, workbook. And that's going to be the workbook that I output to. So that's going to be equal to XLSX writer dot workbook for the capital W. And then we have to give it a string of the name of our desired file. So I'm going to call this out dot XLSX. So now what I want to do is make this worksheet within this workbook. So I'll say out sheet is and these names are not convention. This is just what I decided to call them. So this output worksheet is going to be in the book, out workbook. And I'm going to add a worksheet to that book. So now we're adding a worksheet to the workbook and that worksheet is out sheet. So I hope that made some sense. Uh, now let's hop into the data we wanna throw in into here. Uh, real for real quick, I guess what we should do is put a comment. So create file. I'm going to put workbook in parentheses and worksheet. So now what we want to do is get the data. I'm going to say declare data. So I'm going to say names is equal to blah and values is equal to blah and I'll fill this in so you guys don't have to watch. Okay, so I just made up some data and you can see it here. So now what I want to do is write my column headers. So I want to write the cell A1 and the cell B1. So the way you write an individual cell is you write the name of the sheet. So I'll just copy this. So in out sheet, I want to write to the cell A1 and I pass that in as a string and then I put a comma and now I tell it the data I want to write there and I want it to write names. So before we go any further, I'll show you how to look inside your Excel worksheet to see what's going on. We have to close off the file once we're done writing to it and that's what actually makes it create the file for us. So when we close the the workbook or the file it will actually appear in our current directory and just like that so tutorial is this file so if i don't specify a path if i just give it the name it's going to assume i want it in the same folder or directory so now i can double click on out and now we have this excel file that just has names written in a1 so now I've just done the same thing with B1. I wrote scores to B1, and I also gave us a little comment just signifying what we're doing. So now I want to write data to file. So here's what's gonna happen. I wanna write to out sheet, and I wanna write to, let's worry about the names first. So I wanna write to A2, and I want to write this. So the first value in my names array. So I'll say names at index zero. And that, is, that will allow me to write Kyle at A2. 
So I just repeated that same idea for all of names and all of values. So before we go any further, I want to show you how to write in a different way. And then using that, we will change all of this into a nice concise for loop. So instead of telling Python the name of a cell, we can give it the position. So if we think about our Excel file and X, Y coordinates, uh, a1 would be 0, 0. If we increase the x, this is going that way. So this would be 1, yeah, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0. Um, going the opposite way, this would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and, uh, and so on. So basically, we can say, a we can identify a cell by its x, y location. So, Python, I don't know why, it really annoys me, but um, XLSX writer uses YX instead of XY. So that just means we pass in the Y value before we pass in the X value. So instead of addressing this cell by A2, I'm going to say this is at X0 and Y1. And since we do YX, we say my Y is 1, my X is 0, and I want to write the first item in names at that position. So now we should be able to run this and open this file and make sure everything's still working the same. And it does, we see Kyle there just the same. So you can see I just did the same thing with the rest of our write statements. And now let's quickly write a for loop to replace all of this. So I'm performing three actions per list. So I wanna say for, um, I'll just say item in range of the length of my list. So this is saying I want to loop from zero, one to two because my length is three and I'm making a range of that. So what do I wanna do, what do I wanna do every time I loop? I say, I want to write to my out sheet and I want to Give it the x, y coordinates, which I'll figure out here in a second. I'll just write placeholders, which should be a uh, y, x. And what I'm writing is names at some position. So now let's fig figure this out. So our y starts at one, then two, then three. Well, item right now starts at zero, then one, then two. So if we just add one to item, then we go from zero, one, two to one, two, three. So I'm gonna replace, oh, whoops. So y is item plus one. Our x for all these name statements are a zero and that's consistent without. So I'll just change that to a zero. And then item is zero, one, and two, which are also the indexes of my names array. So I'm gonna say names at item. So let's remove this and run this and make sure everything still works. Open our file and we still see all those names. So now we'll just do the same thing for scores. So we're almost there. The last thing we need to do is write the header for total and then write the formula for adding those numbers together. So I'm just gonna copy this. So I want to put this at D1 and this is going to say, work with me, total. And then when we write a formula, we have to use a little bit of a different method. I'm gonna copy this to save us some time. So instead of write, we say write formula because we wanna actually have the cell do something. It's not gonna just like, we're not just putting text on it. So what this is gonna do is it's going to sum all the numbers from cells B2 through B4. So basically just these three numbers. And it's going to output that total in cell D2. So let's quickly run this, double click on it. And there you go. We have all our numbers summed here and you can see our formula is displayed there.
So that's Excel files. Uh, this is super cool because a lot of people use Excel in their job. So you might see some uses for this in your workplace. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one.